Welcome to Automation Empire. A new game available on Steam, available right now, as of yesterday when you're watching this, if this has just come out. Uh, it is costing around £20 and is promising us the ability to automate an entire empire, clearly. Uh, let's get started into the game. I think of it like a 3D factorio with quite a few differences. So let's uh, get started with it and you can see whether it's something that you are interested in. So we're going to get started by pressing play and we're just going to choose the first map. Press new colony and I'm going to turn starter mode off. That means I guess get less buildings than um, you might if you press the starter colony. And that's because I want to introduce things step by step rather than having some already built. So start and hopefully you get an idea of how everything's built up by doing that. Loading doesn't take very long to load. And there we go. So our goal is to get 30 tons within a three month wait, or three month, three month wait output, I should say. So it's a three month output. We need to get 30 tons. Fine. So here is our starting map. It's uh, large. There's plenty of resources. These are the resource patches on the floor. Uh, those are coal. These, are, I think, are iron ore. And if you start with a starter map, you will have some buildings around about here. So we're going to build it in roughly the same area, just so that if you start, you'll have something equivalent. So just like a game of City Skylines or something like that, you will have an entry point and an exit point for people coming into your map. Uh, in this case, though, they're not staying here to build. They are purely here to, uh, to pretty much uh, pick up stuff, very much like Prison Architect, if you're used to that. So we want that entry point as close as we can, uh, at least to get started pretty close to uh, our coal points. So there's our entry and our exit. I'm going to just make it directly opposite. So just so it's a nice straight road and it needs to back into a cliff like that so it's uh, all quite nice magic they just arrive through this cliff by some other means maybe underground from beyond that that cliff who knows in regardless we're going to build a road between the two and that road is just going to get us started we're down to 135 grand i think we started about 180 or something and we're going to build some laybys or pit stops whatever you want to call them I'm not sure what the american is uh, or american version of a layby is uh, along the side of a road but um yeah you get the idea of bus stop layby it's for trucks and when you build one click on it and you notice the red color you want to change that red color so we're going to change the drone priority here up to high you'll see it changes to yellow and of course you can change this so that it is on or off. Off, it turns red, otherwise it's yellow. So just watch out for that. That same color is used across a whole bunch of other machines. We're going to be building another layby in a minute, uh, or oh, pit stop, whatever that actually translates to. Uh, and uh, we'll come back to that in a second. But basically the trucks are going to wait until they're full with six crates, and then they're going to shoot off down here, and we get money when they hit the exit. So that's our, our goal, really, to get money that way. And we're starting with now only 127,000. So... To get started, we're going to need some power. So uh, that's going to need a few different buildings to get started. Power station. It just provides us magic power. We don't have to worry about resources going into it just yet. So let's just put it down. And then we're also going to need a drone station or drone bay, if you want to call it that. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to put it right next to it. It's just simpler. I don't need to put power poles down then. And that lets us buy up to four drones. So one, two, three, four. And we're down to 76 grand. Oh, this is going to get expensive. Each drone bay can serve up to four drones. So every time you want more drones, you're going to have to have another drone bay. We're then going to need to start generating resources. So we have mining rigs for just that. And there's two of them. We will build a third one shortly. Uh, we're going to need to connect them up to the power. So let's just do that in typical sort of fashion. One there and one. Can I not get the power pole any, any closer? Nope. OK, so there we are. And they're going to start to produce goods. Now, here's where the changes from something like Factorio, because Factorio has mining drills, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, here, we can't uh, exactly, at least not at the start of the game, we don't have like freeform belts, and we're not going to need to manually have our character walk around and pick stuff up. What we're going to need to do is just crate it, and crate it, uh, put them into crates, we'll let them be loaded onto trucks. So to do that, we're going to create a transfer tube from the bottom of the mining rig. You can't connect the, the crate rig directly to the mining rig. You have to put at least one pipe between them. And these pipes aren't the kind of factorial ones where you can just drag them, extend them indefinitely. These are just one or three segment pipes, at least to start. There's more stuff coming over here uh, later on. So, uh, yeah, primitive technology to start. And then in the mining rig tab, we have this crate maker. This is going to cost uh, 15 grand and $1,200 per month, but that extends onto the end of that uh, basically pipe. 
and then this you can start creating crates good yes yes very good but from the end of that what we're going to need is some kind of belt and this is where these aren't really belts they look like belts but they're not quite right there are belts further along we can't see yet but these first two are basically like think of them like as input points and output points from buildings however you can build them to be more than one block in size so here's an unload station so here there, there is unload station you can see and however i can actually extend that again or i can extend it twice more okay and if i click on this i can then say can the drones actually deal with it yes i'm going to set them to high so they will concentrate on going and unloading from these and because this is set to high priority for the drones they will just move stuff happily between those two now i can also make sure i have a second layby and we can put that in place and set this one to medium so um when the other drones uh fill this up what you'll see is if another truck is down here they'll come and bring it to there as well uh, obviously that's a little bit of a longer path but we don't have any means to transport these goods i've tried believe me i've tried i've tried extending that load unload station all the way down here <laughs> turning corners to be right next to here so the path time is shorter i've tried optimizing it don't bother not at the start of the game <laughs> i've tried it unless you can come up with something that does uh, then yeah all the, that's absolutely fine for you um if, yeah, let me know but in the comments down below anyway yeah uh, so because even if you get this all down here they don't really respond to the crates until they hit the end of the load station wherever it is so having that be longer doesn't really help you all that much but you can see they're loading coal all quite happily and for each truck that leaves full of coal ore, we get 7080 now that's not a lot of money and we need to get started with something that makes it better to get it better we need a research bay and that research bay i'm going to connect right next to well not right next to but near this uh i need to just see that overhead actually just i want to make sure i'm connecting the right place so I'm not right next to it like that one away and then you can connect them with a pipe like that are to rotate and this science bay will basically start generating uh research points by converting coal that comes from this mining rig uh it, it's processing now you'll see them start to pop in here the first unlock we're going to get is at 20,000 points and it doesn't take that long to get there 20,000 sounds like a not lot it's not really there's a thousand so 20 times that amount and uh, you just leave it running while you're doing other stuff similarly we can set up another mining rig with another uh, basically crate maker another unload station but right now uh, we only have four drones and we can continue to try and sell stuff this way and but to get any more going uh, we are going to need something in parallel something else going on so something in parallel you might say well um we're gonna need more drones uh in fact no the drones are fine we're gonna need more mining rigs and more um more of these these crate rigs so why don't we do that um let's get another mining rig down and let's get another crate maker down oh i'm out of money that's why <laughs> that's no help uh i'm gonna have to wait for the next truck to leave Oh, this is always the problem at the start of these games. There we go. We've got a little bit more money. And we're going to get the, uh, the crate maker. No, that's 15 grand. I need to wait for at least two more trucks to leave. Fine, I'll skip you forwards until we've got uh, these parallel workflows going. And then we'll head on to the next stage, which is the refiner, really. Okay, our second line is set up and producing. You'll see there's it's back stuffed here. We've got both of them full, the output slots, that is. I've reduced them to two just to reduce the actual time for them to notice there's a crate. Because if it goes four, it waits all the way to get to the end, as I said before. So, yeah, I'll just try it like this. So from here, we're going to need to go and invent, well, pick up some research points. To do that, we're going to click on here. Click on the research, well, the research points we should be able to claim, I thought maybe uh we have to wait till it actually get oh fill the bar up to the blue notch it is full there we go okay claim all right and so now we can spend them so they're able to be spent in two areas this area which is the research upgrade so it speeds everything up basically it makes everything faster and other such things um yep for example um two max minecarts per track and max claw trains per track and all kinds of other stuff like that but right now we're interested in research unlocks to unlock the refiner and the factory. And we get 20,000 basically that we've claimed we spend on doing that. 
So that lets us build an extension to this early game setup to basically sell stuff that's more, well, quite a bit more valuable than our original coal ore. To do that, we're going to need to build a factory, which is in your first tab. And there are a couple of options here, factory and doorway. Basically, this building is, um, it can't be extended once it's built. So you've got a choice between, you know, what size to actually make this in the first place and where to actually put it because you've got a bunch of different uh, options here. But um, what I'm thinking of doing is making something maybe five by three, like that. Okay. And that is oh, five by three when there's not droids, when there's not robots flying over it. There we go. Okay, so 12 grand. And we have this building that we can then build in. And we're going to put in a uh, door on that side. And then a door here and a door here, I think, at least to get started. And then we have uh, basically a space to build in. Now, this needs to be connected to the power, but it is because it was close enough to an existing building. And in here, we're going to be building some manufacturing stuff. So we're going to be going for this refiner. We can put it wherever we want. I'm going to place, um, let's say, them down, I don't know, about here, I'd say. Yeah, we're just going to put one down. It's 10 grand. It's quite a, quite a bit to get started. And then we're going to build the opposite. We're going to build a load station here, not an unload station. So that uh, can go there. Okay, we're going to build another one. And we're just going to set those for it to be a high priority. We're then going to change our laybys to be nothing but coal. Not coal ore, coal. Same thing over here. Nothing but coal. Okay, right now we don't have any source of coal, so the drones are going to ignore it entirely. Then we'll go and get the unload station. And build in a couple of outputs there. Set this one to high. And then our drones should start taking coal instead of coal ore off to basically the trucks, wherever they can find them. I'm surprised they don't go out this door. But um, yeah, I'm sure we'll, as the time goes on, as this becomes less of a new game, we'll find exactly the optimized layouts doing this. But for right now, we can get started with this. Now, uh, we can start thinking about putting things in parallel. Remember, all the, dro the dr droids, uh, drones should be taking stuff from our uh, drone uh, crate maker straight to the refiner and from the refiner to the trucks uh, at this point though we've got about 30 grand so i think what we want to do is expand again we want basically another drone bay because i'm going to want more drones uh, i don't think we have quite enough to feed this to, to two I'll have another two we've got an extra two we could actually do and uh we are stuffed on the input of our refiner so we're going to want another refiner going uh at least one more so why don't i just well i need 10 grand is a truck not leaving soon? A truck should be leaving. Yep, there it goes. That's full of our um, coal. That's not coal all. Yep. So these trucks now, instead of giving us seven grand, should give us nine, between nine and 10 grand for the, the, the pleasure of taking away our coal. I've stepped us up again to three in parallel, three refiners in parallel, and they are processing just fine. You can see we've got crates going out. And we've got 81 grand, and this is only a few minutes later, so once you start getting these up in parallel, it seems to be really quite nice. So uh, we've got some more research points to claim. Let's see what our next unlock is. Our next unlock takes 45,000 research points, which shouldn't take it very long at all. Uh, and we have 30, 40 coal ore in here, so... I'm just wondering whether we actually just should also get um, get coal or provided somewhere else rather than uh, directly into a research bay. But it's fine for now. We're not going to need other different kinds of science packs like in Factoria. So uh, there we go. 45, 190, and we need 45. So let's just claim this. Okay, and unlock this. So we now get access to step conveyors or belts i suppose we should think of them as uh so in here uh, i guess we can look at linking things together so moves crates in one second timed intervals doesn't trigger movement unless every held crate has a space to move to so okay so it's basically going to keep them stacked up keep them full basically and then there are two different uh, l shapes so it, it doesn't let the developers have the factorio nicety of uh, of <laughs> of having things mm, sort of more neatly constructed than this. So, uh, we've got 97,000. Uh, what can, can we just sell this? Actually, we get rid of this for a second, because we're going to need to just get a few things sorted out. 
We'll leave the building as is, but we'll just see if we can actually um, resolve this. So I'm just going to want to, let's just see, uh, is it going to be right hand or left hand? It's going to be right hand, I think. Yeah, so if I have the stuff coming in on this kind of line, I'm going to want to feed it that way. Or can I actually feed it... Um, that's not going to help because that's only a right-hand turn. I want it to feed it off an existing belt. And does that actually let me? Maybe. Let's. Why don't we give this a bit of a try? Uh, there. Yeah, so what happens if I then put this piece of belt in this way? Okay, will this take it off there? Well, I guess we're not going to know until we try. Uh, can I just get rid of you? Do I have to get rid of you and then get a step conveyor in? Uh, must be built inside. So, okay, they all... Mm, okay, so the, <laughs> the only way we can actually get them running is by putting them inside a building. So that means we need to have a, an unload station at the exit or entrance into a building. So an unload station is going to have to be... Sorry, a load station. It's got to be like that, I guess. And we will take air, all coal ore, please. Maximum. Yep. And then we'll go and look at building our refiners back in again. So why don't we just uh, put them there this time. Okay. And it looks like it's moving them, but it doesn't look like it is distributing them just yet. So that means I'm going to instead want to try... The right hand, uh, let's say, we, we want it to go this way. How how on earth do we make it go this way? M move. Move, drone. How about now? So that should go that way. And then we have that. Okay. That works. <laughs> but that doesn't distribute things. Um, so we're going to want claws, I assume. Uh, claw train, perhaps. Transfer core. Transfers crates from one step conveyor to another step conveyor must be built in a factory. Okay, so if we just... Oh, that's that's a drone. Get out of the way, drones. <laughs> Stop. Uh, really? <laughs> I need to get them out of the way somehow. That's that's going to be... That's really going to annoy me. Let's just get rid of those. And you know, how about we just uh, set these up to... Um, set these up to just go like this. Okay. Uh, and probably one more, actually. Oh, hang on. We can actually... You can actually drag. Okay. So I don't need these whatsoever, it seems. Fine. So, transfer claw. Uh, we want to go that way. And uh, can we not build one more that way? Does it have to be one further apart? Oh. Uh, oh. Can't build here? Why can't I build there? That's identical to the previous step. Why? Why, game? <laughs> that should be doable. Uh, I can build anywhere apart from right here. Um, okay. Fine. Let's get rid of you then. And can I build... Uh, he, he, it's really not letting me build it. It has to be, what, there? That means I can't put those, buildings, those things next to each other. That's awful. Okay, I'm going to rebuild this place with one extra gap. And that probably means I need to rebuild the entire building. But I'm going to get this so it looks nice. So yeah, these things can only be built in a certain way. I think I've got them actually running in the way I want them now. I just demolished the factory, get the money back, so don't worry about that. And uh, this does it, this is meant to work in right angles, not you know following on from each other, that, which is why I couldn't get the L shapes to work. Basically, build a straight belt, and then from a straight belt you can have your uh, your cranes basically doing any L transition. The L transitions are really only for moving stuff around or without splitting it or anything like that. So don't worry about them. Otherwise, just use these to move things from one to another. So here we have this moving from this one sort of step conveyor onto this other step conveyor that's right in front of the machine. And then that machine will then take that in and then feed it out the other side, or another one of these will feed it back onto a line. So imagine these, uh, you know, in Factorio, you can get an implicit join, a sort of an implicit belt going onto another belt and that bit occupying one side, or a splitter joint, a merger, that kind of thing. None of that in this game. You need these uh, these sort of claw or apparatuses, whatever you want to call them, what are they called? Transfer claws to move things between straight belt sections. Uh, but it works fine as long as you build them like that. So you are going to need to plan for that, however. So you can see here I've got a few things going. I might be able to get another, another sort of line in there. Let me just see if I can get an extra one in 
Uh, can I... Uh, can get an extra one in. Can I just get rid of you? Put an extra uh, step conveyor on this side. It looks like I can, you know? Uh, but it will take up... Uh, we're only able to have one load slot there. That is an important thing. Uh, I'm not sure whether we're going to need more than one. But we can actually get it going, so let's just get that going on this side as well. There we go, and we just need one step conveyor there. And that should be that. So we have four in running basically all in parallel now. And they're being fed to the trucks like before, which are then taking away our goods. So that's pretty good. We've got a factory. Uh, there's anything, uh, well, there's a few things for the developers that I really like at this point. One, I need to be able to build these factories when drones are there. If there's a drone there, I can't build. I can't build with a machine there. If that drone is there, I have to destroy the drone independently. Please fix that. Because <laughs> you can't move the drone either. The drone just stands there and goes, hey, how are you? And you're like, yeah, move. And he just goes, no. The other thing is to be able to maybe extend the factories. Uh, I don't want to have to deconstruct this and reconstruct it every time, or at least to be able to move it or, or something. So those kind of options would be good, other than pressing this button. Do I have any other options? If so, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I could be a bit frustrated, but there's a couple of drones I had to destroy, and they should get on with, uh, get on with whatever I actually want them to. I need to... Uh, oops, that's the wrong thing. I built a, a load point when I meant to build an unload point. Yep, pick up crates, please. Uh, let's have four there, and we'll just have four on this side as well, just to make it even. And we'll set this to high, and that should start our factory back up again on full speed. Okay, so from here, everything is fine. We are now have some other resources over here we can start taking a look at. Let me just see what the time's like. Yeah, it looks like we don't have enough time, so what I'm just going to see is what these resources are. I assume it's going to be iron, so we may as well take a look at that and exactly how much money we're going to get for iron as opposed to anything else. So, uh, for that we're going to need more mining rigs and we're going to need power. Do we have enough power? 23 out of 40. Okay, so we're going to need enough for that. Uh, and what are you actually mining? You are mining iron ore and uh, we're going to need power. So, yep, we need to connect this up with our sort of power station over here. Uh, good. I can just pull them these out to the full length and I don't have to worry about them, just like Factorio's. That's quite nice. And then we're just going to basically create a crate here. Now, the other thing I was thinking about here is that, well, we have a road over here. I was just wondering whether we can just put an independent road, you know? At least to start with, and we can always deconstruct it later. So on roads, it looks like we can create another one. It's going to be expensive, mind you. But in entry, we could hopefully put, I don't know, around here somewhere, unless I can only build one. Must have another entrance in proximity. Uh, yes. Another entrance in proximity? What does that even mean? That. Um, maybe I can only have one. Okay, if I can only have one, then I'm going to need to basically move stuff around. But uh, let's get started as if I can only have one, then I'll investigate between the episodes. Uh, we're going to basically process it exactly the same way. So we're going to want uh, a crate maker and feed that in, just like that. And then we're going to connect it up with a pipe. There we go. And that crate maker can drop onto a um, basically a load station. OK, uh, that's that's an empty crate. I want a full crate, please. There we go. And the, well, we can set this to be picked up. Okay. And we can also then set over here that these will also accept iron ore, maybe? Yeah, they can also accept iron ore. And we'll see what they turn that to actually be, um, well, in terms of cost. Why don't we just shut down? Why don't we just shut down these? Uh, in fact, we'll just have it so that these don't accept coal. So I want to see how much we get for iron ore, and that is going to be done when all of our drones go and get all the iron ore they can get from a nearby mine. So let's see how much money we get for a truckload of that. And this here is our first, uh, first two trucks of iron ore. Uh, I assume it's not going to be as, as uh, basically as rewarding as the refined stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's slightly below the cost of uh, the coal ore being produced. Yep, so it's not quite so good to actually do that. So instead, yep, we're going to set this back to now, just change these back to coal and iron, but not coal, uh, not iron ore even. 
There we go. And then we will set inside this building, we'll set this load point to be also accepting uh, iron ore. Okay, so that can accept both and it will basically ship out whatever it can out onto the, the end load point here and our drones should actually take that across. So our drones are going to be headed back over here with some iron ore. I'm just going to set this to medium for now uh, because they have lots and lots of coal on the high priority. Uh, well, both of those on high priority in the meantime. Uh, and I'm going to need another drone bay again. I think I think we're going to keep feeding these drones. So do I have enough for another drone bay? Uh, I've got enough power. So let's get that going with that uh, drone bay. There we go. There we go. Three drone bays, which means four more drones. Good. And we'll get that going. Now, from here, what I was just wondering is, we already have a sort of mine track unlocked. I think what I just want to do is get rid of this for a second. Can we actually just feed straight onto? Uh, let's just get rid of you for a second. And just a test with the iron while the, you know they they continue to make me money passively in the background. We have the ability to uh, basically feed out of one of these like that. I think probably with an extra piece to connect it with a pipe, uh, or maybe not. Uh, maybe that connects directly. Yeah, maybe that connects directly. Um, yes let's just go for a direct connection and let's see if we can actually put in a mine track can we actually do that uh can we actually build any kind of mine cart ah we can okay so we can add a mine cart and that's going to keep on moving between two locations oh that sounds good that sounds really good because at the other end we can feed in uh, a um not a train track <laughs> we can feed in let's just move this over here uh, oh, right angles. Oh, so nice. So nice. So if I bring this over here, for example, uh, we can at this end put another one that goes the other way. Like this. Okay. And that should hoover it up and put it into a ground connection whereby we can feed it into another crate uh, maker like this. So a crate maker. Um, let's put you down. And I want to move you around. Will you connect directly like that? I hope you will. And it looks like you're connected, but who knows at this point. Are you making? You are. So if I put an unload point on the other side. Yeah, unload point right here. Yep, so there goes our iron ore. So we can move it from wherever our mines are on mine carts, which you might imagine being uh, basically dropped and sucked up by these little apparatuses and then put into our crates which can be brought to our factory over here which can't be extended bitter bitter town bitter town uh, and also the, 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 the factories don't seem to have a ground point or anything that we can build into them it might be nice if that was a possibility can we actually just feed them in somehow I wonder um, ramp I'm not sure why I'd want to ramp yet, but hey, maybe that's crossing over each other. Um, doesn't look like there's any way of doing that. But we can put a small container down and then hold uh, basically a, a stockpile of the iron ore if you want to. That seems to be, you know, relatively straightforward. You can see, we have ground connection points there, so we could put it here and then connect everything behind it. That's okay. Uh, but in the meantime, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. It's probably worthwhile just keeping it to that before we go on to more unlocks. We've got this research lab over here. We've got 60,000 points we can claim. Is there anything else we can unlock at this point? 80,000 points to the next one. Whoops. Uh, no. Wow, 2 million. Okay. No, there's nothing in there we can unlock. We can get faster stuff. So I guess we can look at uh, faster drones, uh, drone speed. Uh, mine trucks per car, uh, per, per track even. So all of these, uh, we could get the claw train speed, I suppose. But no, I think we want to get more unlocks, don't we? But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. Maybe you've got comments down below from what you've seen so far, or indeed if you're following along, if you've got any tips and tricks for other players, please do let me know in the comments down below. 
Uh, and yeah, I think it's quite. It's got some got some interesting gameplay at the moment. It's uh, it's okay. Uh, there are that is that couple of points that I would raise for a developer if they are watching this video or if anyone knows them. Feel free to pass that along. Otherwise, uh, we'll see how that actually extends as things unlock. Obviously, we want lots of complexity, lots of configurability in, excuse me, in our factory in our empire. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the episode. Subscribe and click on the bell for notification, as you normally would. And um, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching.